your two-time IBC champion, G M Rex. G M Rex. And this is Retro Wrestling Wednesday. For those who are traumatized by that, I do not apologize. So we're going to do the Royal Rumble here, as usual. Non-title match. Y'all know who I'm picking. Kevin Nash. And Chris, I think I know who he's going to pick. Oh, no, no, he's not picking who I thought he was going to pick. up on Albert. Eh, no, nah, not Jericho. Um, Canadian Kevin Nash? You know what? That's a great <laughs> idea. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Test. Ickles. <laughs> Mechanical testicles. Hey, we picked TNA. We did. We beat up, we're going to beat up TNA. So, I heard recently that uh, Balls Mahoney passed away. Yep. R.I.P. Balls. We didn't really get a decent chance to meet you, but, uh, you know, you, you were always entertaining. I'll give you that. And we got a story about Balls Mahoney. I think Chris should tell it. You want me to tell it? Yeah, because yeah, I might <laughs> misconstrue. I might, yeah. A little biased toward it. No, I shouldn't say bias, but... I might over exaggerate it. What is it? We were at a ECW event. Yeah. Ten years ago? Yeah, almost no, ten years yeah, ago. A long time ago. And you know, everybody was, you know, high fiving the fans. Yeah. Ballers Mahoney's coming. We put our hands out there. He goes right by us and doesn't he look he looked at us. Yeah, he looked at he us. He looked at us, but he didn't high five us at all. No, but he put his arms out like he was gonna. Yeah. But he psyched us out. He was the only one, because everywhere else was Everyone else, about. yeah. Stevie Richards, CM Punk. Yeah. Uh, who else? Tommy Dreamer. I think uh, Kelly Kelly was there. Uh... Yeah, Francine. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hi. I'm... I'm sorry. The FBI. <laughs> That's the ghost again. Oh, The Rock's coming after me. Black Adam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we, we got a ghost here. I know it happened last week too. <laughs> oh, Taz. Yeah, who else? Who else high five? Uh, Test was there. No, no, he was a bad guy at the time. No, he was right. actually teaming up with Mike Knox. Oh, yeah. Oh, the good father. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Shots fired at my dad. <laughs> I don't know what our mysterious cameraman is up to. Or woman. We'll reveal their identity. Eventually. Nobody's guessed. Nobody guesses. No? No. It, 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 it would be so much fun if we had people play along. You know, I, I think they want something. I think they'll prize. do it if we give if we give away a free prize. Mm -hmm. But we're not that famous yet. Huh. Well, Triple H sends his wife in first. And it's DJ Doonesbury. Hmm. Nope, close enough. Oh, Earl Hebner, yeah. DJ Doonesbury. <laughs> but yeah, 
Balls Mahoney did that. And we weren't too happy about that. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was a great event, though, the ECW. Yes, it was. And we got that ECF and W shirts, or as they call them, the naughty shirts. <laughs> I had to throw mine out because there were giant holes in it. I know, like, two guys were suspended at the time of that event. Kurt Angle and Rob Van Dam, yet they were supposed to be there. <laughs> and, uh, who else was there? Big Show. Yeah, Big Show was there. He didn't look as big as I thought, you know. He looks yeah, a lot... No. He, he looked a lot smaller in person. Yeah. I was going to say that, but, you know, you accused me of... Doing short jokes. So yeah. Say anything. <laughs> but see, if, if I say it, it's okay. <laughs> oh, Rikishi. Yeah, a ghost finally left. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually my mom. Uh, she's very camera shy. So... Um, she doesn't like being on camera. I wanted to do a, a baking show with her, but she's so shy that she won't do it. And she makes great things. She makes chocolate chip cookies, she makes peanut butter cups, brownies, um, cake. cake, yeah. I mean, her and Chris's dad could open up, like, the best bakery in the world. Because his dad bakes. I liked those, uh, what was it, those cheesecake things that oh, had like Oreo crust at the bottom or whatever? Those yeah. were really good, the raspberry things. Yeah. Well, it, it could be one of my surprises. Nope. <laughs> I think you figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I hope he comes down. Man. I hope he does. It's only one of the costumes. Yeah. But, yes. <laughs> bye bye, Crash. Oh. Xbox sends his girl out first. <laughs> Operation Women's Shield. Oh, Granny Porn Music. <laughs> yeah, we saw Dean Malenko at that show back in ECW. He was oh. up in like a friggin' crow's nest eating Dippin' Dots <laughs> ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we high fived him. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, because yeah. he did show up like at ringside when the show started. Yeah, he was out there checking stuff. Yeah. And I shook hands with the referee. Yeah. I was like, Mickey Henson! <laughs> He's like, Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, Peter Griffin was, Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I know, we got, we got stories. <laughs> and we'll meet more wrestlers and we'll have more stories. I don't think we ever told the Teddy Long story. No, I don't think so. No, that's a good story. We're walking by at the convention. Uh, this was like two years ago. Yeah. And uh, nobody was at Teddy Long's thing. But we were kind of stuck walking by it because there was such a long line. He kind of nods his head and asks me, Gentlemen! And uh, I was thinking we're going to get signed to SmackDown 2004. <laughs> um, but I kept staring at him because he's a lot taller in person than you think he would be. Yeah, he seems really short on TV. Yeah, and so he shook my hand and stuff. But yeah, I was like, he can't be that tall. <laughs> but it was very awkward. I felt bad. I wanted my picture with him after that. But there were other things I wanted to do. Yeah, because we just got there. We had not gotten Kevin Nash picture. No, that was the first thing we did, was get the Kevin Nash picture. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 20 bucks. You thought it was like 100? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because I asked you if you wanted me to take a picture of you and him. You're like, nah. <laughs> I was like, it's Kevin Nash. <laughs> but I didn't realize you had thought it was 100 bucks. I should have told you. Yeah, I thought it was a lot more than 20. If I knew that, then I would have done it. Hopefully we'll find him again. It's Kevin Nash. He always appears. 
he, he always appears in random stuff, too. Like when we saw John Wick in the theater. <laughs> He's in kind of a funny part. Uh, you know, it, it's mildly funny. But me and Chris just lost it. Because it was Kevin Nash. <laughs> and, you know, because that's how the... This was around the time the Kevin Nash joke started. Yeah. So, we're dying laughing. Like, it's not that funny of a part. But... But the people in the theater didn't realize is we have a joke with Kevin Nash. <laughs> and it just made it all the more funnier. <laughs> oh, uh, you want the WWF moving to? I do. Alright, I'll take Road Dog. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? Yeah, and you, you just saw Kevin Nash is in a sci fi movie? Yes, River of Darkness with Psycho Sid and Kurt Angle. Huh. I'm gonna have to look for it. Yeah, no Kurt Angle did like, another sci-fi movie, I think he was in. He was in uh, Dylan Dog, Dead at Night, as a werewolf. Ah, that was it. Uh, and he was in that movie Warrior about the two brothers in the MMA tournament. Oh, really? Yeah, as Koba the Russian. Huh. Yeah. An American gold medalist <laughs> plays a friggin' silent Russian. <laughs> in a martial arts movie. Uh, what else? Yeah, I met Road Dog back in 2005. Yeah, with Billy Gunn? Yeah, him and Billy Gunn, I met both of them. I got my picture with them. And you met Leader too, right? Yeah. Not that year, though. Was it the same year? No, it was two years before that. That was back in 2003. Met King Kong Bundy and Doink the Kong back in 2002. Uh, all really nice people. I think the, the meanest experience I had, I think, was Mick Foley. No offense to Mick Foley, but... Oh, he, okay. he just wasn't... You know, he's playing on his phone. That kind of bothered me, and he's holding up the line by doing that. Yeah, he seemed... What? Grumpy. Something was on his mind, or something. Yeah, like... Noel Foley wasn't there, so maybe that might have had something to do with it, because he said they do everything together. Yeah. But see, I'm not making it up if Chris is telling you. <laughs> he, he didn't seem like his... Like, I'd say he was, like, his 75% self. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, he was definitely... He was, like, he liked my shirt and yeah. stuff, and, But he just didn't feel like his usual jolly self that you see on TV. Yeah. And that's the kind of... And, like, on his Facebook, you know? Like, he's just as genuine, like, as he is on TV, but... Mm -hmm. He didn't... Like, he had it turned down a little bit. Yeah, you could definitely tell something was wrong. Yeah. I mean, it looked like he just got up, too. You know, yeah, he looked like he just got out of bed. <laughs> right, sweet. Or he looked like he just got out of the shower. Yeah. And you almost missed Ric Flair walk right by you. That was the funniest thing. Like, you know who just walked by? That was Ric Flair! <laughs> oh, oh. He's done with his dipping dots and raping little girls. <laughs> I didn't touch those girls, I swear. <laughs> nah, I love being Malenko. I'd love to actually get my picture with Dean Malenko. Yeah. Hopefully he comes to something. Yeah, he's still with WWE, right? Yeah, that's probably why he won't be. Yeah. Anytime soon. Because he's like a road agent. He, like, books the matches and kind of trains with people before the shows and eats his Dippin' Dots in the crow's <laughs> nest. <laughs> Yeah, he's like up in rafters eating dipping Dots. <laughs> like, what was going on? Oh, just Dean Malenko. Don't mind him. <laughs> don't bother when he's got his dipping Dots. No. Don't bother Dean Malenko when he's got his dipping Dots. Not at all. You haven't eliminated him yet? No, I want to be him. Of course, I've tried a couple times, but he's never able to. Yeah. What happens if we ever see Hooven 2 at a convention? <sighs> oh. You better hold me back. No, no, no. Uh, no. It's just video game Hooven 2 he doesn't like. I mean, I like Hooven 2. You know, like he favorite. just doesn't like him in NWO, WCW Revenge. Yeah. And I can't really blame him because he could have won that, but Hooven 2 friggin' pulled him out. That was our first Retro Wrestling Wednesday ever. See you later, Viscera. The cat, we saw her Saturday. Yeah, yeah independent wrestling show. Yep, yeah, Lucky Pro. She got into a cat fight with Alexis Nevaeh. 
She had a light up fedora. <laughs> uh, she's actually in the background of my picture with Dijak. Chris took the picture. Uh, we, I didn't realize until I was uploading it online. I'm like, wait, that's the cat in the background. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't realize when I took the picture. Wasn't it? Yeah, he didn't realize. Me. I thought he did it on purpose. Like, oh, maybe I can get him a free picture with the cat. Because, <laughs> yeah, it was a free picture with Dijak. I mean, it didn't cost anything to get a picture with him. But, I mean, even if it did, I probably would have got it free. Because, like I said, I went to school with Dijak. <laughs> like, we were in the same Cub Scout get, den. You know, I've known the kid since first grade. Uh, this one's really giant. I actually won the woman's title with him in this game. Huh. It's kind of funny. No, did you see the new WWE movie come out? Oh, the one with Ziggler and Kane? Yeah. They're like buddy cops? Yeah, it's so weird. They get to bought a WWE event, though. So there's like other WWE superstars in it. But Ziggler and Kane are cops. Like, that's weird. Yeah, like Rusev's in it. The New Day are in it. That, that's really weird. Yeah, I know. There's a picture uh, with some guy with Noel Foley. Yeah. And uh, you can see Rusev in the background kind of glaring. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like Rusev crush Foley daughter. <laughs> But I did tell Mick Foley to have a nice day. Hmm. He seemed kind of pissed about that. Did he? I think it was because his assistant had to take like 20 pictures of us. Yeah, I know. She but it's that. not my fault she doesn't know how to work a phone. <laughs> she took like, what, four pictures of you? Yep. I mean, God bless her. She was trying. I'll give her that. But you got to know how to use this technology. You know, like I said, like she's trying. Hmm. I, I, I tried, you know, being understanding. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he was mad, because she didn't know what she was doing. Could be. I hope it's that, because he really liked my shirt. And he said, Dijak is a great guy. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. That he thought one of my class like, mates was awesome. Well, well you know, I'm going to go near the rope, see what happens. Can they pull you out of the shirt? I think this is the one where they can't. They could knock you down, but... Oh, if you're on the outside. Well, no, like... I'm not gonna do that. That's too crazy. I saw Great Dane on Saturday. Yep. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, so, all right, check out the links below. Uh, like this video, comment. Guess who you think the mystery cameraman is. Or woman. Ask, or woman. Uh, ask questions for Q&A Tuesday. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all later.